Hello and welcome, this is Alistair Christie and today we're going to take a look at adjusting some field properties to change the way data is displayed. Today I have for you the classic BioLife example that we've looked at um, several times before. Uh, and basically we're just going to want to play around and change the way some of these fields are displayed. Um, firstly I'm just going to go into our query and add all fields. Oops, let's add all fields. And um, we're not interested in species number at all, so I'm just going to delete that. Now we also want to hide the notes and graphic in the grid, but they're both being used so we can't just delete them. Um, so what I'm going to do is go in and set their visible property to false, and that hides them in the grid. Um, and also we look at uh, this inches, um, length in inches, is not very um, helpful. Um, so what I'm going to do is just, in the display format, change that to 0, 0.00, and that will give us uh, two decimal places. And we might also want to play around with the length in centimeters a bit to display something a bit more, or in our case, less useful. Um, so we go into the um, select the field, and go into the on get text event. And what I'm going to do is we've got a can't quite see it, but there's a a, a text parameter. Um, I'm going to say if sender dot float greater than sixty text is assigned big fish I'll go less than 20 now the default is to use the as string property so and um, let's run that. Well, if we look, go and look at it, it hasn't made any changes as yet because uh, it's a, a runtime um, event. So let's just run that. And we've got big fish, small fish, and so on. And that was pretty much all I wanted to cover today. So there's um, plenty of um, things you can play with, with the display format. Um, for instance, we can say it's, it's currency and things like that. But um, that was all I wanted to show you today. Thanks for taking the time to watch. This was really short, but I hope you found something useful in it.